Um, let's play a game. We got to play a game, play a game. right? Yeah, play a game. Normally, this is Steve's part, um, but I did a game that we tested out a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> I guess that was with with uh, DJ Bell. Yes. Uh, to that was that was a test. To mix that, that was a test. <laughs> to mixed okay. reviews. So this is, a, <laughs> this is a bigger version of that game. Uh, I went back to the drawing board because I might have I might have run the shtick a little bit. You know, I, I kept the wagon wheels until they fell off. <clears throat> this is called the Who Said That Game. And and one of the reasons why I picked this, Steve. Oh, you know what? I bet Steve doesn't know, but these guys would probably know one of the reasons why I picked Who Said That as a game for you two guys. Any ideas? You're not you're not gonna quote things we've said in the past, have you? <laughs> Potentially, but both the Saints and the Bengals bad. have a chat have a chant. Oh, the, they, they oh, both they say do. who yes, that. they do. Yeah. Okay. Who day and who that, right? Or yeah. who day and who that. We say who that, who that, who that, who who that who's who's gonna beat them Saints. So uh, I said, well, that's perfect. We'll do the who who said that game. So all this game, this game is very simple. We get we get to play with the chat crew, we get to play with everybody. I'm gonna give you a quote. And all you guys have to do is figure out who said it. If you figure it out, it's three points. Okay. If I have to give you a hint, and frankly, I'll probably have to give you a hint on every single one of them. But if I have to give you a hint, then you only get one point. But that's okay. Steve will keep track of the points I'm, if that's okay. okay. Yeah. I'm going to drop that in here. I'm going to just add to the, the text. All right. So here's the first one. Are you guys ready? Do you understand the rules of the game? I throw out a quote. You guys try to figure out. You, get, you got to try to figure out who said it. If you can't get it within a second or two, then I'll give you a hint about who it is. Basically, I'll give you two choices. I'll say it could be this person or that person, mm -hmm. and then you'll pick from them. Gotcha. Is this, yep. is this board? Am I trying to be Jason? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's the first one. Ready? Okay. Yep. Quote, who said that? I don't enjoy, nor am I particularly good at, mechanics in a vacuum. It's all very dry and formless. <laughs> Unless I know what I want the experience to be. Now, every single person on this list has some kind of connection to Dirtle Games in some fashion. Maybe pretty extenuated, but... We'll I, I think that sounds like a Rob Davio yeah. quote. Oh, my God! He got three points off the bat! Yeah. Nicely done! <laughs> wow! Ber Berla knows me well. Taylor Swift would have been a very good choice. So, <laughs> My choices were Rob Davio or Julius Caesar, but I didn't even have to go that far, Steve. Because he got it right away. That was Darren, yes. Okay, how did you pick that up right away? Have you heard him say that before? Or it just um, sounds well, like him? We have talked to Rob a little bit in the past. And um, he incorporates elements of theme into his games. And he often I will start with theme and go to mechanics, which is nice because I do this similar thing. Um, so it, it felt like something he would say. That's the first three-pointer in this game so far. Oh, yeah. The second time we play it. But. <clears throat> All right, ready? So, Jason, here's your chance for a comeback. Come on now. All right. The center of all of my enjoyments is my home with my wife and children. I have no wish to wander. Who could that be? Who said that? Who said that? All right. Sounds like I've stumped you guys. Need a little hint? Yep. It could be either Justin D. Jacobson or Cincinnatus. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I mean, Justin G. Jacobson is the Cincinnati of board gaming. That's yep. it's true. It's true. <laughs> Jack Crew, come on, try to steal it from him if you guys can get it. I think it's Cincinnati. Cincinnati, you say, Jason? <laughs> what about you, Darren? You, you agree with me? I'll, I'll say the opposite. I'll say uh, Justin Jacobson. It is Cincinnati. Yeah. Cincinnati. Uh, Steve, have you figured out why I picked Cincinnati on this one? Yeah, I got I, I gathered. Yes, <laughs> big George yeah. George Washington fan. That's why. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> they were right, actually, we they were actually crossing the Delaware first skyline. They were going the wrong direction. Right, they went right. to Jersey. They should have been going toward Ohio. All right. Question number three. So we got uh, we got three points for. What's it with the hint? Is it one point with the hint? Yeah, one point. Only one point with the hint. Yeah, okay. you got to get it before that, like uh, like got Darren it. did. <clears throat> I don't need a friend who changes when I change and who nods when I nod. Who said that? I don't need a friend who changes when I change and who nods when I nod. Chat crew, come on. You guys got to figure out some of these. 
All right. I'm guessing that you guys don't have it. So it's either. Can I take a stab at this one? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. Sure. Uh, uh, knowing that we're talking about thematic connections to these guys, I'm going to say Venus flytrap. Oh, close, close. Uh, it's either. Who said that? Darren Reckner or Plutarch. <laughs> and, and both of those guys. Well, those guys are typically talked about in coffee shops, right? You know, I was thinking about Darren is a Plutarch of Cincinnati, so I am going to claim that. Yeah, um, I will deny that I have said that, so I will give that one to Plutarch. Okay, I think they both get a point for that one. So what do you think? Yeah, yeah sounds good. Each. Okay, all right. I thought I would snub you all on that one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Number four. If you have a good steak, you don't need a one sauce. Who said that? If you have a good steak, you don't need A1 sauce. Is, is, that, is that the Cincinnati restaurateur? I'm saying, is that like Bobby Flay or something? <laughs> no, is that <laughs> a Jeff Ruby like quote? Oh, what's the, oh. It's not Beth Jackson. Close, close. All right. I'm going to give a hint, you think? Give a hint. Sure. Here's your hint. If you have good steak, you don't need A1 sauce. It's either Rob Davio or Joe Burrow. <laughs> By the way, Burrow is spelled B-U-R-R-E-A-U-X. I don't know why you guys keep misspelling it there, but <laughs> if it was a salad hating quote, I would guess Jason. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a nice story behind that. <laughs> I will give that one to uh to I'll give that one to Joey Joey Burr. Joey B? Yep. So he says Joey B. Jason, what do you say? Uh, Joey Burr. Yeah, Joe Burrow. For sure. Steve? Yeah, I'll follow. All right. It is Joe Burrow. All right. The man himself, Joe Burrow. If you have good steak, you don't need A1 sauce. By the way, did you get the connection why I picked Joe Burrow? On this oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, LSU, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably the best college team ever. Yeah, 2019. All right, number five. I don't play online games. Warcraft, I've played that, but I mainly play action games. Who said that? Connection to you guys, by the way. That's the hardest part of all of these. I would have guesses, if, but all of my guesses have no connection. So I'm like, oh no. Oh, I may have so... stretched it with Plutarch a little bit, but a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that that is the only one. The rest of this, these will this all be connected. This was in Cincinnati too. <laughs> So, I, no, I, so I'm thinking of restoration designers, and I know Ryan definitely would play games online. I don't play online games. Warcraft, I've played that, but I mainly play action games. I think it's Justin Jacobson. Who said that? The clue is Justin D. Jacobson or Steven Spielberg. Come on, Reese. Come on. 2019. It's not even close. 2019. I think Jason uh, got it with the. I think, uh, I think he Jacobson. did. He's going to get three for it, probably. Yep. I think it he's is it. Steven Spielberg. Really? Yep. I could not really? believe that. What's his connection to Ohio, Steve? I got nothing. He's from uh, Cincinnati. Oh, is Spielberg from Ohio? From yep. Cincinnati? Wow. Supposedly. Really? I, I didn't never, know that. The internet he never, never gets lost. mentioned. Yep. He's so that's a big that's zero Ohio. for everybody. Yep. Yeah. All right, number, number six. Turtles, don't be afraid to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. That's where the magic happens. Connection to you guys. That was Oprah, right? Is that Jerry Springer? <laughs> oh, that would have been a good one. Ooh, that Jerry that's a good one. He, he was the mayor of Cincinnati, right? He was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he passed recently, yeah. yeah. We actually... <clears throat> we. Weird thing about Jerry Springer, he's one of the reasons our museum center is still standing here, Union Terminal. Yep. What 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 what's his uh, connection to that? Uh, well, the the center was uh, the museum center was our previous train station. It was possibly going to get demolished in the '80s, late '70s, and he led a group to uh, save the Union Terminal. There's a song on the internet he wrote and sang. You can listen to it. Wow, hmm. I did not know that. Yep. I and then there's the rest of his life. Yeah, and then the rest of his work, right? <laughs> yes. All right, so let's give you a hint. Who said that? Don't be afraid to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. That's where the magic happens. It's not Taylor Swift. 
but it could be Sarah Jessica Parker or Suzanne Sheldon. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, sh- I want. That sounds like Suzanne could have said that. I believe it. So <laughs> say Sarah Jessica Parker. I'll say Sarah Jason, Jessica Parker. Jason too. says Suze. The other two say Sarah. It is exactly something Suze would say, but it was Sarah Jessica Parker who said it. <laughs> so, yeah. Connection. Anybody know Sarah Jessica Parker? Connection. Another Ohio resident. Supposedly. I mean, the internet doesn't lie, right? No. All right, not. All right number seven. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, and I believe in letting the other guy lose. Oh, that, that sounds good. like Vince Lombardi, and I'm hoping you know I'm a Packers fan. I'm gonna go. Vince. I didn't know that. No, okay. I did not know that. That would have been that would have been a good guess. But for some reason, you're not that far off. All right, I'll give you a hint. Who said that? Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, and I believe in letting the other guy lose. Is it the king of the TCG, Jason Hager, two-player card games, or Pete Rose? <laughs> I'll give that one to Pete Rose. I was Come on, that's something I Jason would say. I was thought thought guessing Pete because Rose. Because of him saying it. <laughs> I've, I actually watched a couple of interviews with Jason Hager, and that's he said versions of that in some of these interviews talking about TCGs, Jason. So uh, that is Pete Rose that said it, though. Uh, do we give them a point for each one of them, Steve? I think okay. everybody – does everybody get one on that? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. This next one, i got to set it up. When talking about the way a game was played, the person said, it's a compliment, but frustrating as hell. Who said that? The way a game was played, it's a compliment, but frustrating as hell. Hmm. Need a hint? Um, I'm going to go out on a on a wall here and just say that that's something that Carla Coppin said. Mm. You know, I could have gone back to the show archive, Steve, and I probably could have gotten a good quote from Carla. Oh, a good, good funny yeah. quote. Yeah, she, I, I think she's been on the show more than anybody else. But it is between who said that? It's a compliment, but frustrating as hell. It's either Jamar Chase or Taylor Swift. Because you know I had to throw Taylor Swift in that, right? Oh, and that's gotta be that's gotta be a Jamar Chase because it has to yeah. be um about coverage in the secondary where they're doubling him or mm-hmm. covering him, and as a result, it's it you know is frustrating. So. Jason's got it. That's exactly what it was. They were doubling him after a game, and he was like, It's a compliment, but it's frustrating as hell. He's a quote machine. Jamar Chase is a quote machine, by the way. All right, last one. Last one. What do we got on the scores? I think we all had Jamar Chase on that one, and that was with hints. So I'm just going to do a little bit of adding up. Let me just okay. do some, and let me add that one in. And, and we got to know this because this is going to be a speed one. I'm going to say it, and Steve, you're not allowed to guess on this one. <laughs> I'm already losing terribly. <laughs> it's going to be a speed one between Jason and Darren. I want to see who's going to win this. And yeah. this is that that oh. first one okay. was tough. The first getting of the three points is going to be tough to overcome. So okay. it might come down to this shot. All right, here we go. Ready? Speed one. Last one of the night. This is the Who Said That game with our friends from Dirtle Games. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys <laughs> could fly. That was from the WKRP <laughs> Thanksgiving episode. But who said it? Who, who, get said it? Name? who said that? I don't remember who said it. I don't remember the name of the actor. Oh, Steve, you might get this oh, one. Oh, I can take this one? Well, I was going to give them a chance, but if they don't pick it up, Episode was before my time. I, I've like, watched it the I last remember. few years, but I couldn't name it. Yeah, you could be born yesterday, and that thing is on YouTube so often. I've oh, I've, yeah. I've I've met fifteen year olds that know this quote, and I'm like, how do they know this quote? That's great. All right, give it to us, Steve. Who oh, is it? Was the big, it was the big guy, and the actor was Gordon Jump. It was Gordon Mr. Jump, and it's Mr. Carlson, Arthur Carlson, the big guy. Mm-hmm. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> I always remembered it being um, what's his name. Um, the news guy. Been, you would have thought it would have been less because he was out there at the at the he was calling it at the as the news guy. But his quote was uh the oh the humanity. Oh yes. the humanity. <laughs> All right, that is that is the who said that game. You guys were good sports for playing that as presented by our friends at Game Toppers LLC. Don't forget, make your game nights a showstopper when you play on a game topper. 
Uh, that is Berkiar, but he's over there. All right, board gamers, that's it for another episode of Gumbo Live. I had a blast talking to, you, to Jason and Darren. Congratulations on that project from uh, Logic and Lore. If people want to know Thank more you. about Dirtle Games, or they want to know more about Logic and Lore, or any of the other games like Unmatched uh, Adventures, how do they get in touch with you guys? Sure, we have a website, dirtlegames.com. Uh, we keep um, current projects that we're working on, and we have a blog that we update on a semi-regular basis. If you want to follow us on social media, you can follow us on Instagram. Uh, we have an account there that's pretty active. We have uh, a X account, which is not active, which <laughs> guess who manages right. that one? Yeah. And then if you would like to get in on some play testing that we're doing, we have a Discord channel where all our dirtlers hang out. And about once a week, twice a week, we will ask for people to jump in on play tests. And uh, we love our dirtlers. So if hey, you're check interested through. in you guys play, like play testing. Yeah, make sure you jump in there. You guys are looking for play tests, right? Yep, yep. Always. The, the, X, the X account is spelled E-X. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, make sure to like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash boardgamegumbo, and our YouTube channel or our Twitch channel. It helps us get the word out about all of our upcoming shows. Next week, we're back in the Gumbo Pod on Twitch. We'll be playing your games live on TV. I'm on uh, twitch.tv. I'm hoping it's going to be Rats of Wistar if Jeremy can bring that in. Because uh, I've played it before. He's got to learn it. But, Steve, the week after that, we have uh, another guest lined up. Is yeah, right? I, I think if, I, if we're locked in with this, I think we've got for the 12th, we have Ben Hammer, who is the designer of We All Take From the River. Well, thanks a lot, Jason and Darren. This was a blast talking to you guys. And good luck with the project. And for the chat crew, for Steve, for, Jer for Darren, and for Jason, and of course, for Verla, the board game ambassador who is running the chat for us tonight. I'm BJ from Game Gumbo. And until next time, laissez le bon temps rouler.